Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to the weekend, everybody. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast. I'm Jeff Thee, coming to you from our studio's historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park. I'm tri- thrilled to have here back with me, Kylie yes. Zankowski. I been, know, it's been, been a, a while. A little bit, yeah. It has, yeah. We are busy, busy bees well, over are. there. And uh, we're gearing up. We're ready for summer. It's yeah. nice outside. Those water levels are rising. Oh, isn't that nice? But that rain so just could not have come at I know. a better time. I know. We were looking at some of those charts this morning that people have been posting of water levels, and we're like, I hope the docks aren't too low, but yeah. <laughs> it's a welcome issue. It's We've been low on water, and that's great for angling. It's great for well, and boating. S- especially since we didn't you know, really get much snow over the winter. Right. These And they're nice little rains, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not a, a gully washer or anything that or erodes everything. It's yeah. It's soaking up in the ground. and It's been nice. It's good. We're ready to go. You know, the we've been watching the DNR has been completing their gill netting process. Yeah. And, um, so that's been really fun. And I feel like everyone's just kind of blinking. And here we go. <laughs> here comes Walleye Weekend. And... You know, it's kind of like the soft opening into summer, and it then is. we've got Memorial Day weekend, and here she comes. Yeah, yeah, we're just weeks away now, and well, let's blink now for tonight, yes. because uh, great event, Oak Hill Outdoor. Uh, not only is it a new networking event, but then it turns into, we know who's getting the pie in the face tonight. Yeah, and I don't know, me personally, I think I'd love to see Morgan get that pie <laughs> in the face, but we'll see tonight. Uh, no, we're really excited. Morgan's been working extremely hard on bringing back networking events and lunch and learn events. So yes. that's something um, that is going to be roaring and going every mm-hmm. single month. So our goal is to at least have one event every month uh, mm-hmm. and kind of flip flop between a lunch and learn education and uh, an after hours event. Yeah. So you'll see those start rolling out pretty soon, but we're kicking off tonight at Oak Hill Outdoor. Of course, we've been doing the booming bracket battle for three years now. So this is our third year trying something different with the grand finale. Yeah. You know, sometimes we wait and do the pie until the summer, but we're ready to pie someone tonight. <laughs> so um, we want to get everybody involved. Come out to Oak Hill Outdoor at 4 o'clock. We're mm-hmm. going to start with some networking there. Bring a business card mm-hmm. to get entered into the raffle. Absolutely free admission. So anybody is welcome to come. Come and network. If you haven't been to Oak Hill Outdoor before, it's so it cool in so there. It is so much fun. It is beautiful. They redid their bar a year or two ago, yeah. and it's huge. They host different events all the time. Um, so what a great excuse to come and check it out and yeah. see everything they have to offer. So we'll kick off, like I said, with networking at four o'clock. We are taking donations for the bracket battle all the way until 6 p.m. Okay. So <clears throat> you can scan a QR code and donate with a card, um, things like that. Or you can also bring cash, cash or checks and donate. We'll have jars so you can donate for either Brady Ooh, or Morgan king. for this that head to head. Yeah. And um, kind of similar to the Battle of the Bartenders at the end of the night, then yes. we will reveal that winner by giving them a pie straight to their face. <laughs> what and kind so of we're pie really excited. We well, we've been known for our whipped cream pies in the past, yeah, know, so it yeah. might be that again. You know, <laughs> throwback to that yeah, time. We, we pied you in your basement. Yeah, we had to, we had to the, try it yeah. out, see if it worked. You know, like a pie in the face wouldn't work. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> no, so we're really excited. It's been a fun head to head battle, and we've been having some fun putting their faces on fighters oh, and, and having that little. Two of the buffest so. people I know around yeah. there. Yeah. I know. Morgan's been really been working out at the chamber. We catch her doing push ups at her desk all the wow. time. You know? That's worth the yeah. price of admission right there. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll network and take donations until 6 o'clock. And then around, we'll tally all that up. And then around 6 30 is when we'll do the pie in the face. And at 7 o'clock, uh, there's a band. So yeah. again, great excuse to come out, have some fun. You know, if you've got new employees, new friends, people in the area, just get them out. And yeah. Have some fun. Have some fun and, and see if someone get a pie in the face. What? That's a full evening right there. That sounds like a great kickoff to the weekend, <laughs> if you ask me, for sure. And then we're only two weeks out. I mean, with the, the soft open, like you said, with Walleye Weekend, 42. I know, 42, which means $42,000 are on the line. Um, 10 tagged walleye will be released and in the chain of lakes. And if one lucky person catches it, then they get that $42,000 prize, which is awesome. But... 
that's not all that goes on that weekend. Right. So we've, of course, got the heaviest fish categories. We brought back the biggest walleye tournament. Mm -hmm. So you can download the free app Fish Donkey, and then it's an additional $20 registration that gets you into that pot of cash for the biggest walleye, which is a ton of fun. It's a live leaderboard. So you can see what people are catching and yeah. the size um, all weekend long. So it's really cool to follow along and see those big catches. Yes. And then, of course, like I said, the heaviest fish categories. And then we've got our awards luncheon on Sunday for registered anglers, where we have all sorts of prizes that we... Um, Many Raffle businesses off. give so much for, yeah. for the, the banquet, yeah. Yeah, so we're so thankful for that and thankful for our sponsors and, of course, the bait shops that are open the wee hours of the night doing the weighing and the registrations. Um, so, huge reminder, registration closes May 3rd, Friday, May yep. 3rd yep. at 11.59 p.m. So, yes. if you wait until midnight, sorry, too late. Yep. 12.01, too late. Um, and that also counts for the extended contest. So registration also closes that Friday before Walleye Weekend for the extended contest. So I know sometimes people think we'll extend that out, but right. um, it closes that day too. So if you're going to fish in the Iowa Great Lakes at all in the summer, we always encourage you to register for the extended contest. Yeah. It's just $20. Um, and last year we actually had an individual that caught the fish like six hours yeah. after the... And for some big yeah. bucks that went with it, yes. Yeah, $5,080 he walked away yeah. with which that's a pretty good fish if you ask me. So, <laughs> yeah, so of course I encourage people to do that. And a reminder, you do not have to register for Walleye Weekend to register for the extended contest. Right. So if you're someone that comes up in the summer or you have a vacation planned and you know you're going to do some fishing, you can register for the extended. You do not have to do the weekend. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a la carte type thing if you really want it to be. You can pick yeah. and choose what you want to take part in. Yeah. Yeah. We also like to remind people that we have a youth category. So we like to get the youth involved. Um, and speaking of that, we are really excited about the grant project again this year. Yes. So those grants applications close also on Friday, May 3rd. And uh, looking forward to seeing what kind of projects we can do. So a percentage of registrations go back to those grants. Yeah. And those have to have an emphasis on angling in the Iowa Great right. Lakes. So water quality, fishing camps, docks, things like that. Yeah, all those so, things. Yeah. yeah. A lot of really good things fun. going on. And, of course, all this you can find uh, yes. com. You got it. Checked out there, your Facebook, all that stuff. That is Facebook for Walleye Weekend, isn't there? Yep, so, yeah, Iowa Great Lakes Walleye Weekend Facebook page, or, of course, you can find that from our chamber page as well. Okay, very good. All links together. It's like this all big together. internet type thing. One happy <laughs> family. <laughs> all right, Kylie, we'll have a great weekend. Thank and you. Uh, looking forward to seeing tonight at Oak Hill Outdoor. Yeah, and hopefully pieing Morgan in the face. Oh, so. man, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Just a pie in the face. It makes You're you happy, anybody. doesn't it, yeah. everybody? Yes, indeed. All right. Well, our thanks to Kylie for joining us. Have a great weekend. Again, we'll see you tonight at Oak Hill Outdoor for Pie in the Face. We thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by West Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, A.J. Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. Be Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okoboji Plaza in Okoboji. 